Hello everyone. And welcome back to our channel. In today's video we're going to talk about a widespread health issue SIBO, or small intestinal bacterial overgrowth. SIBO is a condition in which there is an overgrowth of bacteria in the small intestine. This can lead to a variety of digestive symptoms, including bloating, gas, abdominal pain, and diarrhea or constipation. And extra digestive symptoms, such as fatigue, headache, skin problems, anxiety and depression. The small intestine is typically home to a small number of bacteria, but in individuals with SIBO, the number of bacteria present becomes much higher. This overgrowth of bacteria can occur as a result of a number of different factors, such as low stomach acid, a weakened immune system, or a structural problem in the small intestine. The most common cause of SIBO is thought to be a dysfunction of the muscles that move food through the small intestine, called the migrating motor complex, MMC. This muscle dysfunction can be caused by a variety of things, including stress, medications, and chronic diseases. Treatment for SIBO typically involves a combination of antibiotics and dietary changes. The most commonly used antibiotics for SIBO are rifaximin and neomycin, which target the bacteria that are causing the overgrowth. It's important to note that antibiotics should always be taken under the supervision of a healthcare professional, as they can have serious side effects if used incorrectly. A SIBO diet is a specific type of diet that is designed to reduce the symptoms of SIBO. This can include avoiding fermentable carbohydrates, such as those found in wheat, barley, and rye, as well as refined sugars and processed foods. Eating a diet that is high in fiber and includes mainly vegetables can also be helpful. Some people with SIBO also find relief from avoiding FODMAPs, a type of carbohydrate found in certain foods such as onion, garlic, and some fruits and vegetables, as well as dairy and legumes. SIBO has been linked to inflammation in the gut, and can also be a contributing factor to IBS, irritable bowel syndrome. Some of the top symptoms of hydrogen sulfide SIBO include diarrhea, abdominal pain, and gas. SIBO can also cause weight gain, as the overgrowth of bacteria can lead to malabsorption of nutrients. Die-off symptoms can occur when treatment for SIBO begins and the bacteria in the small intestine start to die off. This can cause a worsening of symptoms for a short period of time before they improve. Symptoms of SIBO can include bloating, gas, abdominal pain, and diarrhea or constipation. It's important to note that SIBO is a complex condition and the symptoms can vary from person to person. If you suspect that you may have SIBO, it's important to speak with your healthcare provider. They can run tests to confirm the diagnosis and develop a treatment plan that is tailored to your individual needs. One important point to consider is the hydrogen sulfide, H2S, it's a byproduct of gut bacteria, in healthy people H2S is not a problem. But in people with SIBO, it can produce toxic levels of H2S, leading to hydrogen sulfide poisoning, which can cause symptoms such as fatigue, headaches, and cognitive dysfunction. Additionally, hydrogen sulfide can also generate a specific smell in the flatulence, which can be described as rotten egg smell. In conclusion, SIBO is a condition in which there is an overgrowth of bacteria in the small intestine. Treatment typically involves a combination of antibiotics and dietary changes, and it's important to work closely with a healthcare professional to develop an individualized treatment plan. Remember that SIBO can cause a wide range of symptoms, and it's important to speak with your healthcare provider if you suspect that you may have the condition. Also, it's important to be aware that SIBO is a chronic condition and even if you have completed the treatment and your symptoms are gone. It's important to continue with the dietary changes and lifestyle adjustments to prevent the overgrowth of bacteria from returning. This includes maintaining a healthy diet with enough fiber and avoiding fermented carbohydrates, as well as managing stress, getting enough sleep, and staying physically active. It's also worth noting that in some cases, SIBO may be caused by underlying medical conditions such as Crohn's disease, celiac disease, or diabetes. And treating these underlying conditions may help to alleviate the symptoms of SIBO. In future videos, we will talk more about natural remedies and supplements that can help with SIBO. So, if you'd like to know more please stay tuned, subscribe and hit the bell icon to get notified with our new videos. Thanks for watching.